Hi, I'm Danny Glover, and I'm a big supporter of The Real News. I watch The Real News every day because it's, it's our station. It belongs to us. We're now ready to proceed with the uh, signing of the documents by the three party leaders. The Liberals and the New Democrats have a deal to form a coalition government and push the Stephen Harper Conservatives out of office. The agreement was also signed by the Bloc Québécois, although they will not be part of the coalition. Liberal leader Stéphane Dion and the NDP's Jack Layton signed the accord, which would see the two parties work together until 2011. Gilles Duceppe of the Bloc Québécois also signed the agreement, which would see his party support the coalition till June 2010, though the BQ would not be part of the government. I'm very pleased to announce that we are ready to form a new government that will address the best interest of the people. Prime Minister, your government has lost the confidence of the House, and it is going to be defeated at the earliest opportunity in the House of Commons. The move comes after Finance Minister Jim Flaherty tabled an economic and fiscal update last week that did not include a stimulus package to battle the recession that has gripped the Canadian and global economies. In the package was a plan to end government funding of political parties implemented by the Chrétien government to stop politicians from being beholden to corporations that give them money, a decision to take away the right to strike for public service unions, a move to cut financing for litigation and pay equity hearings, and selling off of government assets. The opposition quickly jumped on Harper and Flaherty's austerity and belt-tightening proposals and laissez-faire attitude at a time when nations around the world are pumping money into their economies to boost consumer confidence. They threatened to bring down the government. Fearing they'd made a blunder, Flaherty removed the abolition of party funding and backed off from taking away the right to strike for public workers from the bill. The Prime Minister also postponed the vote on the bill by a week to December the 8th. In the meantime, the opposition got together to discuss a coalition and spent all weekend working on a deal. They have informed Governor General Michel Jean that they have enough votes to form a government. Involved in the negotiations were former Prime Minister Jean Chrétien and former NDP leader Ed Broadbent. The Conservatives have attacked the idea of a coalition, saying it was unconstitutional and calling it a coup. They went as far as recording a conference call by the NDP caucus, trying to say that this was not about the economy but a power grab. The Bloc Québécois and NDP responded by reminding Harper that he had asked for a similar agreement in 2005 when he tried to topple then Prime Minister Paul Martin's minority government. The deal by the Liberals and the New Democrats would see a 24-member cabinet with the Liberals getting 18 ministers and the NDP getting six, as well as six parliamentary secretaries. This would be historic because the New Democrats have never formed or been part of the federal government in Canada. The question remained of who would lead the coalition, as Liberal leader Stéphane Dion will be stepping down after the Liberal Leadership Convention in May. Sunday night in Toronto, the three leadership candidates, Michael Ignatieff, Bob Ray and Dominic Leblanc, came to an agreement. And at a Liberal caucus meeting on Monday, the vote was unanimous. We are at one, the three of us, that the only person who can lead the country uh, is the duly elected leader of the party, Mr. Stéphane Dion. We also have a, 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 a constitutional leader, Mr. Dion, uh, who has every right to assume the leadership of the government until such time as a new leader of the Liberal Party is chosen. And that date has already been set for Vancouver at the end of April, the beginning of May. The coalition has promised to bring in an economic stimulus package immediately if and when it comes to power. This is the sort of thing we can build right now without anyone else's permission from the government or from the business community. It's the powers in our hands. If we're not going to sleepwalk into more wars and into environmental disaster, we think we need to start with a television news network that won't bow to pressure and has the courage to seek facts. And that means independent economics. And that's why we need you. Real hope means facing a complex reality. Your tax-deductible donation makes it possible. Please contribute. Visit therealnews.com.